So we're asking voters whether they would consider voting for Jeremy Corbyn if he runs as an independent candidate at the next general election. Yeah, I would definitely vote for Jeremy if he was running as an independent. I feel like what happened to him within the Labour Party was obviously really difficult and really horrific. And I think that like the amount of work and advocacy that he's done within Islington North um, is really unparalleled. And I think that he should have the opportunity to run and yeah, to stay embedded in the community in that way. No, he's an unknown entity. He's not really putting himself out there. So when was the last time you saw him on TV? But the fact that I think he's a very present um, constituency MP, I think most of the people in this constituency kind of see what he does for them. And he represents not just the people of Islington North really, really well. I think he also, um, on the international stage and everything else, he's, he's quite good as well. So he gets ticks for me all, all in all the boxes. If I'm going to vote for somebody, I want to see someone who's made an effort. Um, and I don't see Jeremy Corbyn has. Uh, first of all, he's a really good constituency MP. He lives in the borough, not that you have to, but, you know, he's visible and he's a good constituency MP on all sorts of issues, including potholes, schools, you know, not just, you know. Probably, probably not. I feel like there's, there's, he's had his time um, in the public eye and I think it hasn't gone that well and there's, there's sort of the noise around him. So I, I don't think I, I would. Um, sort of hedge my, my vote to him. He helps me too much, uh, especially about my visa, because I, I had a problem with immigration. It was too late about uh, the result, even it was 100% true. So I emailed them and I contacted them and they helped me straight away, they contact me. So it's so just I'm showing you one of the most uh, services who has helped me and a lot of people here. I probably wouldn't, but I do feel he has been slightly victimised. I think he was the wrong person to be a leader and he was a person who liked to fight causes from the outside. And um, I think that they now want the Labour Party to be so squeaky clean that they've got none of these traditional Labour troublemakers. And... Um, and I think the Labour Party is becoming a bit squeaky clean. Do you think his suspension from the Labour Party was unjust? I think that the Labour Party in general, like we have seen an expulsion of people who are further on the left. So I think in that sense it was unjust, um, yeah. To be honest, I don't, I think he should be running for Labour. And I think it's a shame he's been, um, you know, the whip was withdrawn. Um, I don't actually think that he's said anything wrong. I wouldn't vote for him now. Would you vote for the Labour Party instead, do you think? Oh, 100%, of course. I'd never vote Tory in my life, just based on morals. Um, yeah, I think Labour are making a big mistake if they put someone up against him. Do you think he can win? Yeah, I think he can win. Um, I think that uh, his campaign team, from what I've heard, like are very competent and I think very well organised. Um, I think that he is well known as a name in this area and I think that usually like you might expect oh whoever the Labour candidate is that's who people are going to kind of put their cross in the box for but I think his name like really carries in this area um, and I think yeah I think he can win.